So this is select four uh, modulator of Bitfix Studio, one crossfader, four modulator pickups. And um, yeah, you have a slider here where we can morph between different modulation targets. You have four different modulation targets available. And if you dial in 0% here, nothing is applied at all. So no modulation is applied. If you go up to 100%, then you dial in all the modulations that are connected with the first modulator handle. Okay, so you modulate everything that you modulated with this one. If you go up to 200%, you only modulate what you selected or connected with the second modulator handle here. And everything that you um, modulated with the first one is removed. And you also can see this here at the coloring. Um, this one is now white. And if you go up here, you can see it slowly fades in white here and then slowly white here. So it depends on the position of this slider, which modulator handle um, is used to apply some modulations to something. And there's also um, a fill mode here in the inspector that changes this behavior. If you switch this on, you can see all these modulators now are white because they stack up now. So here, when you go to, to the first, first modulator handle, we have 100% now, everything that you modulated with this one is applied. If you go to the second one with 200%, everything that you connected with this one is applied and also this one too that stays at 100% and this also says here the inspector description keeps the output of all modulator sources at maximum so you can stack up all these modulations that you applied here with these um, modulator handles uh, but in my opinion this one here is the best mode if you have this disabled and I'll show you in a minute why because this is just the explanation how this works um, it's better to show it in a practical example. So I prepared this patch here. And this patch is when you have this at 0%, um, nothing is applied at modu modulation wise. So it's just a basic patch. And then you go up here to 100%. And we basically use the first modulator handle now to dial in modulations in all kinds of places. So now this sounds like this. So it's basically a different preset, a different patch, a different sound. If we go up to 200%, we dial in everything that's with modulator two connected and everything that's connected with modulator handle one is removed. Only this now applies its modulation amounts to all these targets. And these are all different targets than the, than the first one. So this sounds like this. Again, different sounds, different targets, different modulations, and so on. Um, but the third one here, which is 300%, uh, I also modulated here some modulators instead of parameters on the synth itself. So I modulate here the modulation amount of this LFO, of this LFO, and this LFO. So only these LFOs are applied to the synth itself when I dial this up to 300%. Okay, so this modulator one here is modulating the cutoff. The second one is modulating here the oscillator FM and the third one is modulating the mix, which mixes the oscillator one and two. So you get a different sound again. Also, I dialed in here with the third one, the mix knob of the delay plus. So I also change what kind of audio effects are applied to this patch. And then we have here the last one. Also here I dialed in the amount of this LFO1, which is switched to um, pitch. And I modulate here the cutoff, the audio rate. And the second one also changes your audio rate. Um, and audio rate speeds the mix knob of the oscillators. And I also dial in, I think, a reverb here at the end, yeah. Just a mix of the reverb. So again, different sound. So the interesting part now is that you can morph between these different settings. So 
simple it's more or less like a morph preset morph uh, modulator some kind of um because you can move or morph between different preset settings different settings of your synthesizers different settings of um, modulators and uh, yeah it's fun to use in my opinion um, what you also can do is you can of course modulate this one itself so for instance you can use a step mod here put the step mod to randomize um, use uh, quarter notes here for instance and just morph between different settings So every quarter note you get a different setting here and a different sound. You can also use here the smoothing so you can transition a bit or you create some kind of interpolation between the modulations. Maybe make this slower. Right, so you can in create interesting, nice little transitions between all these settings. It makes it a bit slower here. So that's the select four for you. It's kind of a morph modulator. <laughs> 